influence with God. Isaiah chapter 51 verses 13 and 14 say, If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, and not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words, then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father. The Sabbath is God's time, not ours. When we trespass upon it, we are stealing from God. God has given us the whole of six days in which to do our work, and has reserved only one to himself. This should be a day of blessing to us, a day when we should lay aside all our secular matters and center our thoughts upon God and heaven. But while we worship God, we are not to consider this a drudgery. The Sabbath of the Lord is to be made a blessing to us and to our children. They are to look upon the Sabbath as a day of delight, a day which God has sanctified, and they will so consider it if they are properly instructed. They can be pointed to the blooming of flowers and the opening of buds, the lofty trees, and beautiful spires of grass, and taught that God made all these in six days and rested on the seventh day and hallowed it. Thus the parents may bind up their lessons of instruction to their children, so that when these children look upon the things of nature, they will find call to the mind of great creator to them all. We are not to teach our children that they must not be happy on the Sabbath, that it is wrong to walk out of doors. Oh no, Christ led his disciples out by the lakeside on the Sabbath day and even taught them. His sermons on the Sabbath were not always preached within enclosed walls. This reading was taken from the book in Heavenly Places, Day of Delight and Blessing. God created the world in six days. Everything he made was perfect and good in great ways. The word of God tells us that God rested on the seventh day and blessed it. This is to say that he specially set it apart. Jesus said that the Sabbath was made for man's cause. The Sabbath was given to human beings so that they may dedicate it to God and so that all his senses may be fully dedicated to worshiping our Creator. Every day is a good day to worship God, but God asks us of an exclusive day dedicated to Him only. Not every day is exclusively dedicated to God. We work, cook, clean, or do anything else that is for our benefit. But God desires that we may stop our hands, feet, and other senses from doing our own will on the Sabbath day. He wants us to call that day holy, delightful, and glorious of our Lord. We will do it not by walking in our own ways or looking for our own will. We can do good, teaching the children that it is a delightful day. It doesn't have to be a heavy burden. It is a moment to spend with the family, to contribute knowledge to our children. Let us show them nature. Let us open the Bible in the fields or at church, and let us show them the truths that God has left for his people today. If we violate the Sabbath, then we are stealing God's time. God gave us six days to work, but reserved the seventh for himself. It is a beautiful day that we must enjoy, honoring and glorifying God, because it is a sign between God and his people here on earth. And we will continue keeping the Sabbath in heavenly places. Visit www. BibleWell.com